So many of you guys uh, don't even know what kind of survey rig I drive. Um, Southern California, there are local mountains over there. Uh, we do a lot of city work, so I chose to um, use one of the smaller uh, cargo vans just because I do a lot of GPS work. Um, again, a lot of work in the, in the in the cities where it's just it's just hard to maneuver, hard to maneuver a full size truck in and out of tra um, traffic in small neighborhoods and stuff. So the little van works out pretty cool, uh, especially for a GPS and flying the drone and uh, just some pickup work. I, I carry enough wood. It's kind of uh, in disarray right now. Uh, I carry enough um, wood and stuff like that for at least 100, 100 points. And, you know, we have our instrument and our level and everything else in there. So it's two-man crew that works out of the van. Uh, about 20% of the time work as a one-man crew. And we're gonna use our lath rack. Uh, some people have sent me questions about uh, lath racks. Uh, I know most of the country uses lath bags. I never used a lath bag until um, I did a review on one. So it's our lath rack uh, just to kind of keep things organized. Uh, we're gonna set some blue tops out here from to build these like apartment condo type dwellings. But uh, that's it. So stock blue tops. Right, friendly neighborhood surveyor. So some people ask, what do we use these lath racks for out in the West Coast? Um, it's kind of a normal thing. So today we're gonna set some blue tops, uh, four different pads around here. So the lath rack work out really good for keeping things organized. So if I was going to do one pad at a time, then I can just keep them organized that way and put them in as needed. That's it, lath racks. Check them out.